Chapter 215 Can't fight back. Yi Yi had an idea when she saw that film Emperor Su didn't reject anyone. She stood up and bent down again, revealing herself. Yi Yi held her wine glass and said to Su Jingting, Film Emperor Su, everyone recognizes your acting skills. It's an honor for you to come to our production team to save the day. I remember Yishan's first movie, Youth, was also with Film Empress Su. At that time, Film Empress Su was the second male lead, and Yishan was a guest star. They were also a couple. I didn't expect you two to be fated to act as a couple again. With an innocent smile, Yi Yi said everything she wanted to say. She wanted everyone to know that Su Jingting had lowered himself to play the second male lead and the extra role for this woman named Xie Yishan. She wanted everyone to know that Xie Yishan and Su Jingting had a special relationship. A movie king who had a firm foothold in the entertainment industry. And a small celebrity who had just entered the industry. One could imagine how she had managed to get to the top. Yi Yi raised her glass and downed it. Film Empress Su, please. Su Jingting swirled the wine glass. He saw the liquid on the side of the glass fluctuate. He had no intention of drinking it. Miss Yi, you're really confident. Just don't joke too much. Su Jingting smiled and said those words. It was impossible to tell that he was angry. Only Xie Yishan, an assistant son, who knew him well, could tell. Yi Yi refilled her cup. I'm not joking either. I still remember seeing film Empress Su and Xie Yishan together, and I was studying at Xion Film Academy. I didn't expect that the two of you would still be together in the entertainment industry. One remember that you have a girlfriend, right? Why are you so close to Xie Yishan? Aren't you afraid that your girlfriend will be jealous? Su Jingting placed his wine glass on the table, causing the wine to spill. Jia Yishan is a new artist signed by Huanya Entertainment. As a senior, it's my duty to take care of her. Miss Yes doubts are too much. Shi Ming Cheng, who was seated a few seats away, also put down his wine glass. He had been pissed off at Yi Yi for a long time. So he also said, Miss Yi isn't a Huanya artist. So she naturally wouldn't understand how united our company is. Not to mention Jia Yishan, who is a girl in the entertainment industry. Even a man like me has received the care of a senior. Of course, you can't blame Miss Yi for being insensible. After all, Miss Yi isn't in our company. If Miss Yi has any ideas, you can ask senior Zhong Shenchen how she jumped shit and how she caught a death. It's so bad that the entertainment industry can't even mention her now. And that insensible assistant. Qi Ming Cheng finished speaking in one breath without even panting. His last sentence was directed at Yi Yi. Yi Yi only said a few words before Qi Ming Cheng's rebuttal nearly made her cry. Seeing the awkward atmosphere and Yi Yi about to cry again, President Zhu stepped out to smooth things over. Ming Cheng, you can't be so direct. Yi was just joking, please don't take it to heart. Film M Prasu. Come, come, come. Let's drink and have fun. There's nothing wrong with being straightforward. Don't take it to heart. Right? Yi. Sit down, come and drink with me. Shi Ming Cheng didn't say anything else. But Rui Yu sighed. Sigh. I really can't talk these days. I might as well eat more. Lest I attract attention and get scolded. Fortunately, I'm a little fairy who likes to eat but doesn't like to make a fuss. Everyone was speechless. Yi Yi was so angry. 